Hi, this is Jim in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to show you my sausage shooter. It's a, hydro, a uh, hydro sausage stuffer. And first I'll go over the plumbing. So here is uh, coming out of my sink and you'd have to pick whatever fitting works for you. I happen to have a spray nozzle as part of the head of my sink and so this is a half inch national pipe thread connection for me. This is a, a quick release valve so I can uh, take it apart and I'll show you the operation in a minute. Uh, this is a $10 um, irrigation valve, 24 volt, with the water going this direction. And then it comes across, uh, this is a Street L, a 3 quarter inch PVC, a, P, a 3 quarter inch PVC T that's threaded at the uh, center, another Street L, and of course there's a couple pieces of uh, pipe in between to glue it all together. And then this is the exhaust uh, valve, and it's uh, going uh, this direction, heading, heading this way. Over here, uh, another, just a, a uh, connection. Um, I'll show you why that's important in a minute. Um, that's a quick release. And then at the, at the oops, at the back of the, of the, uh, tube I have also a quick release here for purposes of making it work. So this is my foot switch and uh, this was a is a just a rocker switch. The the these this is a two position switch that has one circuit that's normally open and one that's normally closed. By doing that you avoid needing a uh, relay. So when the when the the uh, when it's just plugged in, the exhaust valve is open and the the uh, supply valve is closed. And then when I push it down, you can hear the click. The exhaust valve opens and the supply valve closes. So this is the same uh, setup as before. I've just disconnected the quick, quick connect from the supply side. And then I'm also going to disconnect this uh, quick connect over here that goes off to the, to the, that's, this hose is, this is the other end of this hose. And I'm going to hook that into a, a uh, Venturi pump from a um, aquarium and hook that in here. So now when we turn on the water, and I'll have to get set up here just a second to, to show you it uh, will withdraw the piston. So I'll turn on the water and you'll see water come out right here and uh, that's uh, you can see the piston get drawn back by the system by the venturi pump. That's it. ready for the next load. So the uh, the pipe itself is 24 inches long. It's 4 inch PVC. Uh, these two uh, fittings I, I uh, had to buy at a, at a supply fitting supply store for plumbing parts. This is a, a cap that I've modified. I drilled a 1 and 3 quarter inch uh, hole using a hole saw. And then this is a piece that's used to, uh, and I'll put the, the part number up uh, in the description, but it's used to connect the uh, sink drain fittings to the PVC pipe drain. And then this is a standard sausage horn I bought at the sausage store, and it needed a bit of modification. I had to grind this down a little bit, just used a sander and rolled it until it is the right size to fit in here. So then it, so now I can put any size sausage horn I want on here, like so. And then that goes, after it's full of sausage, that goes in here.
So this is the jig I used to cut the slots in the uh, piston. So here's the the three inch cap with the slots cut in it. And what I've done here is I have a uh, adjustable dado blade that's coming up through the that's in the table saw and I've adjusted it to just short of a quarter of an inch uh, wide and I've put these two blocks on uh, to this underlying uh, thin piece of plywood to act as a cradle for the for this piece uh, so that it won't rock back and forth and then um, what I've done is cut a piece here that is the gives me the distance between these two. So with this piece on, I can cut uh, this one. And I take this piece out, I can cut this one. So then these just go in here like so, and I just turn the table saw on and turn it around and, and cut this slot. So here is the uh, actual calculation with respect to the depth of the groove. This is uh, an eighth of an inch. That's 532, sorry. And this is 532s. And the, you can see here that uh, this is uh, 15625, 0.15625. This is 0.125. And the, the actual depth is supposed to be 0.147. So as you can see down here, it's about 70% between 432s and 532s. This one is the uh, width of the groove. This is this is uh, 832s, and this is 732s. Uh, 0 0.21875 and 0.25, and the uh, width of the groove is supposed to be 0.238. So, so this uh, three-inch cap was just a little bit too large to uh, fit inside the four inch pipe and I don't own a lathe and so what I did is drilled a, a hole through the center here and put on a temporary quarter inch bolt and then I chucked that up to my drill press like so, tightened it up and then I just used a if I can find it here a wood rasp and just I kind of held it on this side while it was running and just worked my way down and this would fill up quite quickly and so then I had a brush and I would just brush it out and kept going until I got this to the to fit inside the uh, four inch pipe. The uh, power for the whole system is supplied by a transformer, a 24, 24 volt AC transformer which is what is required by the valves.